Hey, it's Patty Scharf, CPA and co-founder of Catching Clouds, the leader in e-commerce accounting. Today, I want to talk to all my people who use Xero about how to deal with sub accounts on your credit cards because it's a little bit funky. And there are actually a couple of different ways to handle this. I'm going to go over one method today. And then if you subscribe and click the little bell down below, then uh, you'll be notified next week when I do the second method. So uh, let's get started. All right, so let's talk about why this is even a problem. Okay, so let, let me talk about how credit cards are actually set up. So you see this with Chase, you see it with Bank of America, lots of different institutions use this, where you have your main credit card, you've signed up, you have a credit card, and then, oh, you've got some employees and you wanna give them their own credit card. Well, to give them their own credit card, they actually sign up for a sub account, so a sub card underneath that main account. And each different account has basically its own stream of data, okay? So if you were to log into Chase, I'm gonna just show you a little example. So we've got this card, uh, 4313, and then it's got like five different sub accounts underneath it. Each card has its own activity, and when the statement ends on, let's say, the 16th of the month, then all the activity from all those different cards roll up into that top account so you get one bill for all of the different credit cards. That's the theory behind it, and that's why they do it that way. But it becomes kind of a problem when you're working in zero because you're not pulling in all those different streams of data into one account. So the first method I'm gonna show you today is how to kind of get around that. Okay, so what you do is when you go into Xero, you have your credit card set up as a credit card in Xero. So it's set up in your chart of accounts as a credit card. And then you set up the bank feed. So you just go in here to, um, it'll say activate feed or set up bank feed. I don't remember what it's called, but it's, it'll be pretty clear when you go in there how to set up your feed. There's actually a green button on the dashboard and everything. When you set up the feed, you're going to enter your user um, ID, you're gonna enter your password, it'll ask you which feed to pull in. So when you log into that, you tell it, hey, pull in the feed on the main card, okay? Now what's gonna end up happening is you're only gonna get the transactions on your main card, you're not gonna get all of the sub accounts detail. Here's how you get around that. So if you were to log into Chase or whatever the bank account is, and you go down to um, whoever it is you wanna pull information in for, and then you just click on Download Activity, and you pull in the date range for that last period. Okay, and you can use pretty much any of these types. I think um, either the Web Connect or this Web Connect, you can use Quicken. I think you can even use Microsoft Money. You can use any of these in Xero. You just pull one down, it doesn't matter. I think I usually use the QBO one. And you just do the date range of the transactions that you're missing. So this method's really great if you are only like updating your books on a monthly basis, or if the sub accounts, they aren't being used very often. Maybe your employees, they just, they buy something here or there, but it's not an ongoing kind of thing. You just go in for the specific date, date range that the transactions occurred, and you download the activity. And then you're just gonna do a manual import into your account. So you just go into import a statement, and you import that activity. And boom, those transactions are just gonna be in there. Once you enter those in and you code them and everything, then you get to the end of the statement period. And when you get your credit card statement, all the transactions that are on the sub accounts and on the main account are all gonna be in one statement. You can reconcile it as normal. Easy peasy done. If you wanna see the other method that I use using bank feeds, then check in next week and I'll show you how I do that. All right, I hope you like this video. If, if, you found it helpful, please like, comment, and share. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll catch you later.